What's up everybody, hi, it's me Lainey, and in this video, we're going to talk about suckets in presenting programs. So first, let's define suckets. Well, in fact, suckets are one endpoint of a two-way communication link between two programs running on the network. A socket is bound to port number so that the TCP layer can identify the application that data is destined to be sent. So this is the program we are about to present. And it's all about sockets, right? And by the way, this program is about an echo server that echoes whatever it receives to the client. So here, let's try to run it so first thing is first let's run the echo server class here as we can notice the echo server class is running and after that let's run the other class which is the client class as we can see it is also running so here this time let's check or let's try to type something Let's check if it's working or not. Let's try hello there, enter. So, as we can see, the server echoes it back to the client saying hello there. Okay, let's try another one. Hello, thank you for responding. And there you go. And the server also echoes it back. So therefore, those two class classes are working so now let's dig deeper to the details how is this code works let's go to the client class oh by the way here you can name it anything you want but i personally use client in this class for formality purposes okay don't be confused so i include throws exception here so that we can catch it in the end so the overall program will run smoothly here we use try statement to allow the define block code to be tested for errors while it is being executed so in this first statement we can create a new socket objects and name it echo socket so the socket constructor we use here requires name of the computer and the port number to which you want to connect which is maybe local host as default we use 6124 keep this in mind that the port that you are using because it is very important later on on the second statement here on this highlighted statement uh, gets the socket output stream and opens up uh, print writer on its name out similarly the third statement gets the socket input stream and opens up a buffer reader on its name read the most interesting part here is that the while loop the while loop needs a line at a time from a standard input stream with the buffer reader of the stdin which is created in the statement in the try within the resources statement the loop immediately send the line to the server by writing it to the print writer to the socket the last statement is the while loop reads the line of information from the buffered reader connected to the socket the read line method waits until the server echoes the information back to echo client. When read line returns, echo client prints the information to the standard output. The while loop um, will always continue until the user types an end input character uh, or just pressing Ctrl C or just terminates the program. So uh, basically, this is just like opening a socket. Next is open an input stream and auto stream in the socket and then read from the read from and write to the stream according to the server's 
um, protocol we made and then close the streams and then close the socket so on the server side uh, let's talk about the server group class so here and the try here we initialize a an object server socket and then it should we initialize the, the socket and then it should be the same as the socket uh, socket use on the cl client class so so this is the port they are using both so they can connect each other and then we use the accept um, method here so uh, on this on the second statement uh, the server class you is waiting for the connection uh, from the uh, client server using the accept method it should be the same port and then it receives the connection using an accept accept method and then open an input and output stream here and then reads whatever the client is uh, wanting us the server echoes for them while there is string getting passed on on the server on the server it continues to echo it so we are just putting catch exemptions here so it will it, it won't uh, it will run just fine and yeah, that's pretty much it on how to how this uh, program works with the uh, use of sockets. And okay, thank you, and have a nice day.